Hey there. You probably don't know me. You don't know who I am. You don't know what this channel is about. And that's logical because I'm a small channel. Probably the first time I'm popping up on your screen. If you're a YouTuber as well, or kind of interested in what's been going on behind the scenes, then this video is for you. I have to say, this isn't usually what I make, and it's without a script, or at least I wrote like three lines I'm writing here, or reading here of my screen. But other than that, I have nothing written down. I want to do this from uh, the heart, because this is an issue that I've been struggling with for a little while now. YouTube can be a beautiful thing. You can express yourself, uh, what you're in, interested in what you want to talk about and hell you can get paid for it you can make money from this uh i recently got monetized i made like i don't know like 10 bucks or something so hey that's that's 10 bucks more than i would have gotten last year when i was doing this channel this channel is two years old or in december it will be two years old and in january my uh, biggest video will be a year old i still haven't reached the same heights of that video now did that video get like millions of views no Oh, it got 16,000 views or 17,000 maybe at, at this point. It still gets views from China. That video did so extremely well that I'm still going to this point because I think that I do have an audience of people that want to watch my video. However, none of my videos have ever reached that audience again. Is this YouTube fault? Is this my fault? Who knows? I don't know because I can't fucking tell. YouTube has zero clue what's going on and gives me zero reason to believe something is going on. I have analyzed every single one of my videos. The ones that do bad, the ones that do good. Uh, in my eyes, the ones with a few thousand views, the ones with less than a hundred views. None of them have a difference. Sometimes they have around 60% uh, view rate after the first 30 seconds, sometimes it's 70, sometimes it's 65%. It, it never really changes. The CTR stays about the same in every video. All the different things that matter for a YouTube video when you go and look it up online are always the same for my videos. Only this video will do really well and this video will get like not even 100 views. I don't know how YouTube works. I do believe that as a business, they ha make some logical decisions sometimes, um, but YouTube itself doesn't really confirm a lot. You can't really contact them and just go like, hey, what's going on? Why is my video not doing well? Because they do give you a fair chance in a certain way. When YouTube has your video popping up fairly quickly, they're gonna go, okay, let's throw this in front of a couple of people and see what they think. They do this first by using suggested videos. Suggested videos suck ass. I swear to God, I don't know how, but every single video on my channel has been about gaming. Somehow though, YouTube still doesn't realize my channel is about gaming. It's pretty much in every single one of my videos that I say it like 10 different times, in every one of my descriptions, every one of my tags, hell, Everything I do is about gaming. At this point, whatever algorithm is put in is either broken or just doesn't want me in the gaming sector. Because when I look at the videos that suggest my content, pretty much 90% of the time, it is not about gaming. All of a sudden, it's IRL stream in Bulgaria, or it's Nick Avocado doing this weird little thing where he's faking it and he's not faking it. I don't know. I don't care. I don't want that type of content to suggest my content because it's not about gaming. It's, it's, it's so weird that YouTube doesn't understand that that this algorithm doesn't really work for small channels i've seen one guy i'd see him as a friend he's probably he's he may be watching this video i may be talking to him right now uh who who blew up who went from 600 subs to 40k and i fucking love it i swear to god i'm so happy for the guy he can actually now earn a living from making the same content he was making earlier of course he's improved don't get me wrong we need to improve this content isn't perfect i know i'm not perfect i know that i'm probably ranting too much right now and some people are going to be put off by that but that's okay because i want to make this the way i want to make it and that's the problem with youtube right now content right now after mr beast after he kind of infected this whole medium with uh, his type of content is just about being as perfect as possible, doing the greatest, grandest, different things. Every single video you see nowadays is how I survived 100 days in this video game, how I did this for 10 hours, how I did it, I really do not care. Those videos are fucking boring. I swear to God, I don't understand. It's probably a lot of children and teenagers that watch that, which is not the type of people I 
cater my content to. Maybe teenagers a bit when they're more interested in certain gaming news or commentary that I can deliver. But other than that, I do not care about that type of viewer because that's not the type of viewer I'm trying to cater to. So why do I have to make videos that aren't from the heart? Every single time I uh, enter this sort of loop when I'm making a video, I make a video, I keep checking it, it's doing worse, it's doing better. When it does really well, I'm happy, I'm glad, I, I'd like to make a new video, I'm instantly inspired. When it doesn't do as well, I'm no longer interested in making videos. And that isn't because I don't want to make videos. I definitely do. I love making this content, even if it only reaches 100 people. But that's the problem. You see content on this medium being just really bad or just something that hasn't been put in any work in maybe an hour's work if it's even that much and it gets so much more views the channel has so many more subscribers and hey get that money i don't care i don't want to hate on those people they deserve it uh as much if not more than me i'm not here telling you like hey i deserve this more than anyone else but i'm just sick and tired of putting in all this effort and not getting any recognition for it and when i do get that from a few thousand views and, and a couple of uh, comments, a lot of people are really happy with my content. They really like my content. So why isn't it being put out there? YouTube's a very weird thing. They will definitely uh, do the logical move of putting a big channel above a small channel. So if I make a video about the latest drama that happened with this certain game, right? We have a certain game, latest drama happened. And then a certain big YouTubers, let's say the actor, man bricky uh, i don't know just big gaming commentary youtubers make the same video about the same day my video is just gonna fall flat it's not going anywhere this video however is gonna go really far this is logical of course because when you look at a big channel youtube knows that this channel has a lot of subscribers has a lot of viewers like people are going to be like really interested in this video and with my video they don't know that they don't have that data they don't know whether or not my video is going to flop or do well or whatnot that's logical from youtube's perspective of course the problem that that creates for me however or any small channel for that matter is that our content just doesn't get pushed out there that is a problem that is normal this content should be made and then should be seen by a certain amount of people so that your channel can grow if you're making videos consistently week after week after week and you're making content that people are enjoying even if it's only 10 people the first video then it should be when you're 30 people the next one and so on and so on but youtube should try and find and help you find that kind of audience that audience that you need and when i'm working on these videos i know myself I'm not the best, like I said. I know that I can do better in certain aspects, but I also know that my YouTube content isn't bad. So when I see a video pop off a bit more than it usually does with like a couple of thousand of views, I get a lot of comments saying, wow, this is some great content. Wow, I didn't know you were such a small channel. Wow, this, wow, that. A lot of people are, are surprised by the fact that my channel is as small as it is. So that gives me a good feeling and makes me help understand that there are people out there that love the type of content that I can offer them. Only the problem is, is there's this barrier that I can't seem to breach. I don't want to be spending hours on Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, or whatever other social media platform i have to go on just in order to get a following on youtube that shouldn't be my job my job should be to make the content and don't get me wrong i said job but this isn't really a job i'm not putting a lot of work hours into this this isn't a nine to five this is honestly nothing compared to what a lot of people do as a job i'm here complaining and a lot of you could be looking at me right now like bro you're barely doing anything compared to the work that some people put in i know that i know that i am not some hard-working citizen like a lot of people out there i'm not trying to convey that message i'm just saying that honestly a lot more people could be content creators could be big content creators that a lot of people can watch and and have fun content from that they can enjoy but a lot of people lose this this motive to keep going i still have it i'm still going to be making videos this isn't a video saying oh hey i'm tired of youtube and i'm 
I'm just quitting. It's done, right? After I just like hit over a thousand subscribers, I'm not doing that. But a lot of people have. A lot of people have ended their channel on very low numbers because they kept getting those low numbers. Even if they had one viral video that kept them going for a little while, eventually they're just gonna quit because they can't keep up with all this schlop that gets put on the on the platform youtube is filled with slop and honestly it's understandable with how many kids are on the on the website but let them do their thing my content is catered for someone else i want people that want to watch my content actually watch my content instead of random other people that have no interest in it click on it see 10 seconds click back off it because they're like what am i doing i don't want to watch this type of content to be told uh youtube is going to have a new feature for small content creators uh where you can like hype it up if it's like a small content creator you know you can hype up their videos and then they get put on some sort of hype list which is different from how many impressions it gets i don't know how the whole system works knowing youtube this probably won't change anything anything i hope it does i hope that at least having uh, a good amount of friends that watch my videos that they can actually hype up my content and then somehow my content actually gets pushed to more people on the channel i've done a lot of different things to try and grow this channel i've followed a lot of tips i've watched a lot of videos but that's another part of what makes it so tiring is just the fact that you need to look up so many different things you get hundreds of thousands of different tips and even when you put those tips in a video it doesn't work it doesn't work at all right now starting on youtube while it isn't 100 percent luck it definitely is a, a huge amount of the part i'm not going to put a percentage on it but it's definitely a big part of it being lucky that your initial channel small channel gets the views it deserves and grows to a number it deserves like i said that one friend i had he grew his channel to above 40k now and he got lucky with doing that he he did something really good but now his content is doing well now he's getting money from it that he deserves and i find that the part that should be about youtube where people make content that they like to make where people can watch that content they enjoy with people that are genuine and not some fabricated stuff uh, that seems to be infecting this whole in this whole platform i've been watching youtube pretty much since its existence even though i was like a, a, a kid i have watched so many hours of content and i feel like a lot of the content is just not as genuine as it was before and it's just about getting as much clicks and then keeping the 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 attention there why can't we just have a, a relaxing conversation where you can just talk to me through the comments or hell we could do a live stream or whatever just why does it have to be all this min maxing of everything a lot of people quit because there's too many sweats i guess on youtube that being said this was kind of a little rant i had to do um i'm sure i probably missed a thing here and there of a frustration i've had of my channel of just how things go on youtube maybe you have had your own frustrations maybe you didn't know certain things were going maybe this is the first time you've seen me like i said in the beginning of the video either way just leave it down in the comments below if you have anything to share other than that i thank you very much for watching it as far as you have i'm not really going to link you you to another video if you like gaming commentary just subscribe to the channel i'm definitely going to be putting out more of this content uh, no matter how it does thank you very much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day bye bye